protecting yourself and your close ones. In this lesson, you will learn how to protect yourself from being doxxed. The best way to prevent doxing is to take good care of your privacy. That means handling your data and all personal data you get from other people responsibly. Many users live their lives without managing their online privacy, thinking they have nothing to hide. Of course, this is not the case. The data we share may end up in data leaks and used against us in the most unexpected ways. For instance, a list of patients sick with COVID with their full personal data may end up in the hands of people who may bully people with the virus. We witnessed such cases back in 2020. We will give you some social, communication, and technical recommendations, which will help you avoid sharing excessive amounts of information, information that can be abused by others. Check your social privacy settings. If you have social accounts, those networks have a lot of information about you, and you might be surprised how much of it is visible to anybody on the Internet by default. That's why we strongly recommend you check your privacy settings. It is up to you to decide what info you want to share with complete strangers versus your friends, or even nobody but you. Moreover, in most social networks, you can limit the visibility of either individual posts and photos or all at once. Consider who should see your photos. Should it be all the people in your friends list or just the people you know personally? Watch what you post. Make sure that you are ready to be accountable for whatever you said online. And try not to post when you're in an emotional state. Consider making your account closed. But be aware that this does not make it fully private, as your followers' accounts can be hacked and hence whatever you post exposed. Do not share your location. Many social networks offer the option to check in, to mark your location where you took a photo from, write a post, and so on. Geolocation is one of the most sensitive types of data, which can compromise you. Following the geotags, criminals can identify where you live, which routes you take, and when you are not at home. However, sharing geotags of places you travel to or rarely attend is rather safe. Make sure that you do not show your personal data on the photos you share. This should be an easy one. Yet, looking up tickets or flights hashtags, we can see that so many people still share their personal data. For instance, their flight information. This data can be used even for a prank. Once, a pranker canceled a booking of an unwitting user simply using the booking number and the name of the user. Keep your main email address and phone number private. These are the two pieces of data that are tied to so many of your personal accounts, from a bank account to a social media account. Their leakage results in tons of spam in your email inbox and hundreds of robocalls on your phone. Even if you can't avoid sharing this info with Internet services and online stores, don't share it with random people on social networks. And consider creating a separate, disposable email address and, if possible, a separate phone number for these cases. Use safe messaging apps. Most modern messaging apps use encryption, but in many cases, it's what they call encryption in transit. Messages are decrypted on the provider side and stored on its servers. What if someone hacks those servers? Don't take that risk. Choose end-to-end -end encryption, and that way, even the messaging service provider can't see your conversations. It is also better to use messengers that provide higher privacy settings. For instance, those that enable you to hide your phone number and other personal details. Send self-destructive messages, which disappear after being read by the recipient, and keep messages on your phone only, not on the app's server. Secure your phone and computer with passwords or passcodes. Imagine your device being stolen and the person who got his hands on it being able to guess the password. You will be surprised how easy that is. Now, they would have access to all your personal data, conversations, photographs, anything. To protect your devices, use passwords sufficiently strong enough to keep random people out. On mobile devices, do a bit better. Six-digit pins or actual passwords, rather than four digits and screen lock patterns. Use passwords or biometric authentication to lock your phones, tablets, and computers. 
Disable lock screen notifications. Protect your phone with a long, secure password, but leave your notifications on the lock screen? Now any passerby can see your business. To keep that information from appearing on the locked screen, set up notifications correctly. Disable lock screen notifications or hide sensitive information from the lock screen. Follow these recommendations and share them with your loved ones. These simple rules will help you to protect your personal data and make things difficult for doxers. Dangers of doxing. This lesson explains what the exact dangers of doxing are, what it can lead to, and how. Compared to the physical world, information on the internet can spread very quickly and is almost impossible to remove once posted online. This makes doxing even more harmful. How can doxed information be used against you? Spreading fake information, including deep fake videos and photos, public condemnation, public ridicule, and shaming for exposed actions. Exposing sensitive content, albeit sensitive is a subjective term. While some habits and actions might be accepted in one part of a society, they might be opposed in another. The above can lead to trauma. Doxing may uncover past trauma or cause a victim to be re-traumatized each time they go online, post, or allow themselves to be seen. Psychological dangers, an increase in anxiety, stress, sleep disturbances, psychosomatic disorders, decreased self-esteem, depression, reputational harm, social stigma, spreading rumors, job loss, loss of friends, and more. There can be different reasons for doxing. The threat or act of doxing someone can prevent a victim from leaving an abusive relationship or taking steps to protect themselves. There may be other reasons similar to this one, such as harassment, intimidation, or coercion. By using doxed information like names, addresses, passwords, and phone numbers, doxers can impersonate people in order to purchase goods, gather more private information, spread false information, or commit crimes. Doxed information can also be used for falsely reporting a crime at the target's home with dire consequences for the one who was doxed. The threat of doxing can be used as leverage to extort money, assets, and other things. Doxing, alongside threats, spreading rumors and name-calling, can be part of a coordinated bullying campaign targeting a young victim. Attackers do not often appreciate the harm done to the victim and act without thinking or because they think it's funny. A jealous or angry attacker may use doxing as a way to harm someone. Doxers may also simply wish to harm their target for any number of personal reasons. Sometimes, doxers use the information found as a means of taking revenge. Often they publicly publish their target's personally identifiable information online to shame them. In some cases, doxing can even lead to physical violence. Doxers can visit the victim's address or figure out their schedule in order to monitor or follow them. Some people are more likely to be victims of doxing. Journalists, bloggers, gamers, teens, influencers, celebrities, BIPOC communities, LGBTQ plus folks, marginalized groups, activists, lawyers, sex workers, and law enforcement officers run a higher risk of being doxed. For women, doxing goes hand-in-hand hand with non-consensual pornography, online harassment, sexualized verbal abuse, and threats. That does not mean that only these groups may be doxed. Anyone can be a target. Doxing does not discriminate. It is a tool that can be deployed to abuse and harm someone anywhere at any time. And because so many of us are online today, this puts us all at risk. In fact, Many users go through life believing they have nothing to hide. They often share or don't properly secure sensitive or private information. These actions can lead them to becoming victims of online abuse like doxing. This underscores why we should all take preventative steps to protect ourselves and those close to us and decrease the likelihood of being targeted. This real life example happened recently. A mother of three was recently doxed for being on OnlyFans a social media platform that allows adult content, and her children were expelled from school. Instances like this happen to many ordinary people who choose to share information about themselves on the Internet that could later be weaponized to harm them.